Okay, here we are with the test setup. We got the reservoir filled up. We got the power tubing going into here. Controllers there, ready to rock and roll. Um, we don't need to do the jet test again because obviously it's not gonna. It's just it's bad. Uh, but I would like to run the test of seeing if the flow overwhelms this uh, catch basin, and I think it will. And once that test is done, I would like to try pinching the hose, seeing if that, what that does to uh, preventing the flow. And then I'll try to find something like a clip I can put on it and uh, control that. So, yeah, let's try it out. Um, first things first, we're going to turn this bad boy on. All right. And immediately, water on the floor. Yeah, we, we saw that happening, right? And how's the basin going? The basin is... It's just barely holding. It's like right at, right at the limit. All right, emptied this reservoir here, cleaned up a little mess. Uh, let's try the pinch test. So, can I get this to work without fucking spitting? God damn it. This is very annoying to do while recording. Uh, I'm very tempted to just not ever record anything from this project again. And just do it off camera. How easy would that be? Eh, we'll see. We'll see. So, we have this set up. Uh, now, I'm going to turn on. Let me just, uh, let me pinch the cord. Pinch the, uh, the tube preemptively. We're going to turn on the solenoid. See, it's on there. Yeah, so we're getting some flow now. Pinched. Oh, well, a lot of the uh, air came out here. So when it's pinched, and I'm pinching it pretty tight here. Like, I'm almost... I'm almost completely stopping the flow. Just a little, just letting up just a little bit. I mean, that's not bad. That's definitely a sustainable flow rate. Um, I am a bit of a fan of this. So this is a, this is a viable option. Other options include feeding the tube directly into the uh, the basin here. Let me, let me see if I can do that. One second. I'm gonna put the camera down. Can I jam this hose in? I can. All right. Now I've got the hose jammed in here. I'm just gonna let her open. Yeah. So that's obviously another option. It's not bad because it actually uh, like it holds it in place decently like this. You gotta worry about how high this is getting. Because if it gets too high, then... Oh god! Stop it! <laughs> yeah, I think it's full now. Yeah, this, this thing is completely full up. Alright, well, so we got, we got options. I can pinch the cable, or I can feed this into here. Now feeding this into here also solves the problem of you know jetting which pinching might not pinching you might still get enough velocity velocity that the water slides off the like slides off the end like this so yeah we'll see we'll play around with it a little bit probably run some tests in situ and uh, we'll see what we like but we got our options now and I'm really liking I'm really liking this decision I made to uh, to buy thinner tubing to buy this thinner nipple here, definitely good. And I'm also liking this connector here. It's a beautiful, beautiful little connector. And the end product, probably this female end here, that will be much closer to the body of the controller because I don't need that long of a run 
from the solenoid to the controller. But I'm still going to be using this connector in the final product. And then I can disconnect the controller from the solenoid tank assembly if need be. So yeah, progress is being made.